Hi everyone, Derek Cooper here, Director of Instruction at Troon Golf Academy, Lake of Isles. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about a concept in the golf swing which is often misunderstood but is a very important part of being able to hit the ball consistently and that's swing plane. So I want to show you first of all how you can understand what the swing plane is and then what you should be doing in the golf swing so that you can keep your golf club on plane during the swing which will help you hit the ball far more solid more often. So I've set up a practice station here where I can work on my swing plane. I'm going to show you first of all how to set this up and then I'm going to go through how you can work with this station to help you improve your own swing plane. Now, first of all, let me explain what swing plane is. So swing plane is determined by the angle of the shaft in my address position. So when I set up here, you can see that I've taken this rod that's behind me and this rod that's in front, I've got them set at the same angle as the shaft at address, and that is my swing plane. Now, ideally in the takeaway, what we'd see is the club would stay on that swing plane until the club reaches hip high. And then from there up, I want to see the shaft stay parallel but above it all the way to the top of the swing. I want to come back down parallel and above it to here again. I'm going to walk, work down the plane into impact, up it to here, and then parallel above it in the follow through. And that would be the club working on plane. One of the biggest errors I see with players though is that when they set up, they want to take the club away with the hands. They get disconnected with the left arm and the left rib cage, which gets the hands out above the plane. The club gets in below plane and they get the club head way behind the hands. And then from there, they tend to have this recovery position in the backswing and then they've got to recover in the downswing very very difficult to be consistent when you get the club off plane. So the keys for you when you set up this station is that you want to make sure that as the club goes away the club head stays outside the hand line as it works up the plane until you get to here. When the club reaches horizontal here the club should be parallel to the target line and the club should point directly in here like this. The club is resting on plane. We haven't got the club below the plane with the disconnection of the left arm like we spoke about and I'm not seeing the club picked up too abruptly either. I'm seeing the club go back on plane here, parallel and above. Now as we said, ideally you'd work it up and down the plane back and through, but if you're coming from a background or a swing history where the club's going in like this, you're going to need to feel the club working much more this way to make a correction to that. So if your old swing went in, and then over in the downswing, which is a tendency for the majority of players. Club goes back too much to the inside going back, and then too much to the outside coming down, and then travels across the target line. What we want to do is try and correct that. So the best way to correct it is to actually exaggerate it a little bit the other way. So I'll get players who have got that error to set up in this practice station, and I'll have them go back and I want them to go above the plane going back, up, below the plane coming down, and then above the plane in the follow through and you can see how that's an opposite to what they would normally do. So again, setting up for the player that goes too much this way in the backswing and then this way coming down, I want them to go more here in the backswing, up, down here and then out in the follow through. For the player who tends to go too much the other way, which tends to be a better player's error, where the club will go back and then they drop it too much under in the downswing, I'll have them go the opposite way. So I'll have them set up, I want the club to go back just below this in the backswing, take it up, drop it above it coming down, and then below the front rod in the follow through, and that will help neutralize that swing plane for them. So depending on what your error is, is going to determine which way you're going to practice this drill. Now if you're not sure what your swing error is, there's a couple of ways you can check it. You can do a little video work, setting up the camera in the same angle I've got it set up here. Your other option would be if you have a look at your divot pattern. If your divot pattern is heading left of target, then your swing's going to be above plane coming down and going left. If your divot pattern's tending to go a little to the right through impact, then it means you're coming too much below and then out in the follow through. So based on that divot pattern, it can help you understand what drill it is you need to do to neutralize your swing plane. So as we said, depending on what your error is, too much in in the backswing and out coming down. We want to feel the opposite of that when you're doing your practice. Setting up this practice station is a great way to fix that. And if you get away and work on this drill, I'm sure you can improve your swing plane very quickly and you'll be able to hit some good shots in no time. 